out through far enough, go through a little bit further, duck down a little bit lower. The swelling does go down eventually, and please, it does happen, no Santa. <laughs> one on either side of the sail, those are the sail planes, and one on either side of the rudder, those are the stern planes. All the stuff you see up on top is actually going to drop down inside, and that's the speed across the top. The two silver tubes from the hooks are the periscopes. That's the only way we can see out of the boat. The rest of the tubes are a variety of antennas, radars, and electronic Large black screen shot of the back is the snorkel, top of the screen shot, bottom of the screen shot, and the least of the screen shot. As we're going to go down, it's the top of the screen shot. Yay! Good luck, guys. Bye bye. See you then. <laughs> Just entering to this old and betrayed submarine. Here we are. We had eight officers on board. Seven of those eight slept back there, two to three per room. And then you got this guy right here, this is the captain. The captain is the most important one on board. He does get his own room, and that room is bigger than the other ones. He's the only one on board that can actually sit up in bed and not hit his head in there. All the meals are made downstairs in the galley. Officers' meals are brought up here to the pantry and served to the officers. Now, this is a double hauled sub. We have an inner hall and an outer hall. Outer halls, which saw on the dock, and here's a piece of the inner hull or pressure hull. That's what's going to keep the ocean from squishing the boat. Mm -hmm. Also, have a piece next to the fan, next to the clock, and hanging up right over here. Now, in between, we have our ballast tanks. So, take a look up here. I'll explain how this works. A series of valves at the top of the boat, a series of flood ports in the bottom. We open the valves at the top, water comes into the bottom, into the ballast tanks, making us heavier than the water around us, and we submerge or dive. We do not sink. That's what Titanic did. Oh, Close yeah. the valves, send high pressure air through the tanks, and I'll push that water out, bring us back up. Now if we do it quickly, we're going to do this maneuver right here. That's an emergency blow, and we can actually go from 700 feet to the surface in 58 seconds. Cool. And give you an idea what blue back looks like compared to the rest of the subs in the fleet. Six models of submarines. That's blue back. Hmm. Below that is a World War II fleet boat. Below that, the workhorse of the Navy, the Los Angeles fast attack zone. Right. On top is the Ohio class ballistic missile boat. It's the largest in the Navy. Two and a half blue backs will fit inside. Hmm. On the bottom is the largest in the world, a Russian typhoon class ballistic missile boat. Two of the Ohio side by side will fit into a typhoon. Wow. And the little guy is our first commission substitute. That's the USS Hollow. That was this one was the designed service. to sit off San Diego and hit downtown Moscow. This one was designed to sit off St. Petersburg, Russia, and hit downtown Washington, D.C. Uh, those are called dolphins, and you earn your dolphin <laughs> by knowing what every button, knob, switch in the submarine does, and you have less than a year to learn that. And those are just a variety of different nations that have had or do still have submarines. Uh, the U.S. has 71, and Pakistan has 8. As you go through the sub, you'll see interesting buttons, knobs, switches, and valves. My naval career was on the surface side. I have no idea what they do. Please don't play with them. One of them could launch one of our torpedoes. Oh, <laughs> torpedoes. That's incredible. Look at that. Types. This one right down here is the Mark 14. It was used to sink ships. The little green guy is our Mark 37. That one was used to sink submarines. In 1973, the Navy combined the two to create the big guy over here. This is the Mark 48. It's a wired guided torpedo, and with this wire, we can put new information into that torpedo 
like course and speed changes. We can have up to 22 on board, six will go up front, three on the top, three on the bottom, 16 in the sections around us. Last time a U.S. submarine launched a torpedo in anger, the 14th of August, 1945. Oh, a lot of practice. Thanks, Laura. There's actually only been three nations since 1945 to launch a torpedo in aggression. In 1972, Pakistan launched one at an Indian vessel. In 1983, Great Britain launched one at an Argentinian vessel, and in 2010, North Korea launched one at a South Korean vessel. Up above, extra beds. This is actually the second best place to sleep <laughs> yeah. on here next to the cap stay room. Yeah, nice yeah. and cool, Just nice and quiet, a lot of it. The sock is real. Yeah, sock is real. The model is real. Yeah. That's what it's good. Guys, be prepared for the worst. It's a video. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Throughout the submarine, we have these manifolds. Stick the holes in the manifold. You now have breathable air. Then you just hope that these guys know what they're doing. That's fair. Every sub sailor, surface sailor, and aviation sailor knows how to put out fires and stop flooding. Those are the two most dangerous things on board any day. If they got inside, if water came in the boat, yeah. Um, we're going to isolate areas. Uh, for example, this area here. This is a watertight door, so if we had water coming in here, we'd close that watertight door, and then we can isolate it, and then we do an emergency blow. Guys, give me some space. Oh, that's where it goes. And it goes there. It's destructive then. This is a big guy. <laughs> this is real stuff. Oh. Three guys sharing two beds. Now, the way that works, the guy that sleeps on the top bed, for example, he's going to come out sleep and go to relieve the guy on watch. The guy comes down, crawls in the bed, bed's still warm from the guy that just left. Showers are once a week, two minutes long, and ice cold. And before you can take that wonderful two minute ice cold shower, you have to clean up the space. Any place to store food on a sub like this one did, showers included. The green bag right here, this is your laundry facility. When you return to port, six to eight weeks later, you took that bag full of dirty laundry out, had that cleaned. 75% of the crew smoked, and this is a diesel electric submarine. We have three diesel engines. So combine the smells of the diesel, 75% of the crew smoking, two months worth of dirty laundry, once a week showers, and a variety of smells from various tanks and bilges, and we call these things pig boats. We got some more fellows. Yeah. Got space. All right, well the room that we're in now, this is our cruise mess. Anytime you have a large gathering of people, it's gonna happen here. Meetings, classes, religious services, entertainment, and of course, eating. Through the window, our scullery. That's where all your dishes are washed. Now if you're brand new to the Navy, brand new to this sub, and you're enlisted, that's where you get to spend 90 days, washing dishes by hand. For the meals, they rotate 20 guys at a time through four of them. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, and what we call midnight rations or mid-rats. Over here is the galley, that's where all the meals are made, and the sub fleet does eat the best food in the military, ranging from hot dogs and hamburgers to steak and lobster. And it kind of makes up for living conditions. The problem? Storage. We're out to sea for two months. We got 85 guys on board, and we have four meals a day. It comes out to about 14 tons of food. You have to have some place to store 14 tons of food. We have two freezers for the frozen goods. Things that can withstand high temperatures will store in the back. Things that require a cooler temperature, like fruits and vegetables, we're going to store up front. We also have two dry stores. After that, we get creative. If you happen to be shorter than six feet two inches tall, those beds are six feet two inches long. You just created a storage space. Chairs are hollow. We'll put food in there. We'll put food underneath the tables. We go out to sea for a month, and we're going to take these number 10 cans and put them on the floor. We're going to line the floors. So mention the torpedo everywhere in between. Put a rubber mat on the top walk on the cans. Now this is not a real big problem unless you happen to be above 5'5". Five five. You learn to duck. We 
We've got fresh milk for about a week, if even brought on board at all. After that, it'll be evaporated or powdered milk. We also have coffee, water, and the naval favorite of bug juice. Bug juice being the Navy version of Kool-Aid. Take the Kool-Aid, mix with five gallons of water, throw in some sugar, that's bug juice. You can drink it. It comes in five colors, red, green, yellow, orange, and purple. One flavor, sweet. <laughs> Same Kool-Aid, mix with a gallon of water, leave out the sugar, is a cleaning solution. Are you going to serve us? No. <laughs> Best piece of equipment on this entire submarine is located in this very room. That's that brown one with the white handle. That is our soft serve ice cream. We've got ice cream on here 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, any flavor you want. As long as you want vanilla. Yes, I'll get you one. You can try. Try with. Can I try ice cream? No. <laughs> no. Can you have a good recipe? You have to get enlisted first. <laughs> Hey, Captain. Hey, you. Here I am. Oh, yeah. This is a very nice place. So, the engine, uh, white line, and you're so scary, sir. <laughs> Once those generators are charged batteries, then we go to the other side and run the electric motor. The electric motor runs everything, front to back, including our propeller. The propeller for the boat is the one next to the museum, which also serves as a memorial to those that have died in sub-service. Losing our first sub in 1915, our last one in 1968. 67 subs lost altogether, 52 during World War II. The top speed on the submarine is 21 knots, or about 24 miles an hour. Hard lever travel at that speed because at that speed our batteries would last about 40 minutes. Yeah, take some pictures.